Hello, welcome back. Uh, we got another haul video. I know I said I was going to do a collection, but also this came in the mail, so I was going to open it. Sorry, but I forgot all about this package, and I also ordered one because I saw it after I said I needed it, and so I got it, and you know how that goes, it goes like that. So, let's show you guys what I was able to find. Oh no, I lied. This isn't the one I found. It's Uoda Vito Volume 5. Uh, I ordered this before, or during the recording of the last, you know, when I got all the Itsuwaru Bito manga. So I'm glad that this came in. I'm still waiting for the rest of them, but but they come in. They come in. You know, you don't need to, to build and finish a series all in one video. But boy, oh boy, let me tell you, this screwdriver here is the ultimate box opener. You guys need a box cutter? You probably already got one in your dad's toolbox. Okay, hold on a second now. Hold on a second now. There we go. Get through the clear tape. Get, yep, we're golden. We're golden. No, we're done. We're done. <laughs> All right, we got the we got the box cutter. Okay, okay. We we actually didn't need the box cutter because I I don't want to commit box genocide again. <laughs> you can see I was a little off when I made my cut <laughs> with my bare hands. You know, we already we destroyed one box. One box too many, if you ask me. Let's rip this guy open from the rest of the way out. Now that we've got all this this nice leverage here. Come on, you can do it. You can okay, fuck it. We're gonna we're cutting it. We're cutting it. Your boy needs to go to the gym. But I'm too scared to go to the gym with my mask on, so I ain't going. I don't wanna I don't wanna hypo ventil weight and pass out in the middle of my 300 pound bench. Because I'll die. <laughs> oh man, see, that's the trouble with with being too strong. So you'll probably notice a, a, a theme here. Uh, these are all Kikaishi um, by Yellow Tanabe. Uh, Kikaishi is a pretty good manga. It actually used to be on Adult Swim, if you can believe it or not. And I actually used to collect it when I was younger, but. The problem with collecting things when you're younger is then you have to go to college and not have any income or a job and also your mom won't pay for your manga because she says you're too old for manga. So you can see how that could be an issue in affording manga. Um, so I stopped buying Kakaichi. Um, but then all of a sudden you know, you get done with school, and then now you have the monies to finish Kakaishi. So, what are you going to do? You're going to finish Kakaishi, obviously. Um, I'll talk to you guys more about Kakaishi in a few momentos. Um, but the author has a few other manga as well. One of them is called Laughter at the World's End, which is only about five chapters long. And it comes down. I don't. I think it's only got one volume ever released. Um, and also Birdman, which I've never heard of before. Um, but that one has about sixteen volumes, and I can't believe it's not in the U.S. Like what? Why? And again, I don't really know anything about that. But I do like Birdman the movie and Harvey Birdman. And I especially like Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. Well, yeah. It seems like I would be pretty interested in it. Hmm. I'll have to look into it, I think. Anyways, let me just try to sort through all this Kakaishi over here off to the side. Um, but, man, this is one of those big hauls, you know? Like my Seven Deadly Saiyans haul. So, let's see. Mm hmm, mm hmm. These are some of the cooler covers. Um, I wish I had all the Shonen Sunday symbols instead of the three Viz symbols I have. Um, but you know, you can't win them all. 
that's okay. At least I have them, uh, so that's good. I have one through nine in the Omnibus three and ones um, in my bookshelf right now, actually. So that's good. But let's just talk about the other ones, you know, and I'll I'll sort those off screen. So here we have a a manga called any I call it any meta. It might be any ma. It might be anime tough, but I call it any meta because it's a manga about making an anime, and that's kind of meta. Uh, I think it even has an anime spinoff, um, which is super meta. But that's cool too. Um, these are by J Novel Club, which I don't have too many of. The only one I actually have that's also J Novel Club is a Sentence of a Bookworm. Um, I grabbed this because it was on sale, and it looked pretty interesting. Um, and so I was like, hey, why not? Why not get it? So I got it, and it's really just about this girl's dreams of becoming a, um, you know, a legend in the animation studio. So you can see target 500 friends per month. So she wants to be, like, really good at, um, you know, making animations look great, making anime look beautiful. This is her on the front cover here. I really like, see, her dreams become an animator. Bam, and that's her. So, it starts off with the color page, uh, and you can kind of see the film reel. I really like the style that this manga was portraying. In the art is like superb. Hopefully, the dialogue in the story is pretty good too. But you know, no promises, no promises. I haven't read it yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be great because how are you gonna take that concept and totally ruin it? It's impossible, I would think. I'm sure other series have that. Okay, guys, I get it. Uh, this is the new gate. The new gate, um, I used to always see on scan websites, but I never read it. Um, and so I saw it on sale at Right Stuff, and I was like, you know, today is the day. <laughs> so I've actually bought it, and I was like, I'm gonna read this because I always see, like, I always see it. And now that I've got it, I figure I should read it. I'm surprised there's only five volumes out. I feel like this has been around for a long time. I've tried to look it up. Uh, there's like no information on this thing. There's a Wikia page, but there's not even a Wikipedia page that I can find. Um, so I thought that was a little weird, but maybe I'm just not looking in the right spot. Um, but I've got every volume that came out so far. Volume six I have pre-ordered, so that's good. Hopefully I like it. If I don't like it, I guess I'll cancel it. But this is by One Piece Books. Um, I think I only have one other manga with them, and that is the Shield Hero series, so I kind of just jumped in on One Piece. Hopefully, uh, well, I guess I also have um, Shin-Chan. Alright, let's talk about Kakaishi. So, Kakaishi used to be on Adult Swim, and it's an interesting uh, manga slash anime. I used to always watch it on Adult Swim. See, it says the final volume right there. Um, and there you go. The bittersweet conclusion actually is exactly what it says. Oh, okay. That's great. The covers look pretty neat. Um, I like the style that Viz used to go for where it has like a tag on the top and then a little bit on the bottom. Kind of like how it used to say action and things like that. But now it just says Shonen Sunday, which I would prefer Shonen Sunday anyways. Um, so let me read to you guys the, the summary of it. According to le the legend, 500 years ago there was an insignificant lord who possessed a mysterious power that drew Ayakashi to him, a demon exterminator. Toki Mori Hazama uh, was called upon to protect the lord in his castle. The lord's power stayed on the land even though he had died. Thus, Toki Mori um, founded the Hazama clan who inherited his techniques to protect the land for centuries to come. This land is Karasu Mori. Um, in the present day, Yoshimori uh, Sum Sumiori Mura and Tokinin Yukimura, uh, heirs of the Hazma clan, are Kakaishi and the protectors of the uh, Karasumori, which is located on the grounds of the school that they attend. They are ability users, people who can use supernatural abilities, duh, who use a technique called Kakai. Kakai is a form of magical energy barrier that is primary used to capture and destroy Ayakashi that are drawn <coughs> um, to the Shinyuichi. Any Ayakashi that stay behind, uh, that stay in the line becomes stronger. I like this little sticker here, Adult Swim. That's cool. Very neat. 
Um, any Ayakashi that stay on the land become stronger. Uh, Yoshimori and Tokenane are to guard this land from the intrusion of Ayakashi who try to power up there. Yoshimori and Tokenane have suffered a lot of hardships and their responsibility to protect Karasumori. The Ayakashi must they are they must fight are becoming more and more powerful, but they manage to protect the land with the help of Yoshimori's older brother, Masamori Sumimura, and the Yorakai, the Shadow Organization. The Shadow Organization itself is an organization of ability users that is governed by the Council of Twelve, consisting of high ability level um, users. All of the members are not in the main inheritors of the clans, lands, or titles, or are loners with no place to go, and thus have to become a force that shows their control over the country. Um, so that's how I'm going to end that little summary there, because um, it starts to get into some spoilers territory. Um, but this is like, it's really cool how, to see how they use their powers. It's kind of like, um, if you took Twin Star Exorcist and mix it with like Flame of Rekka kind of. Um, so it's got that 90s anime vibe, even though it came out in 2003. Uh, it's got uh, this very interesting style, if you ask me. I think it looks pretty familiar to Inuasha, but maybe people don't think so. I just think not, not the. Um, characters themselves but like the hairstyle and the clothes style. I also like how um, the artwork is drawn on these covers. I think the covers are beautiful. The back though, you know, is a little boring. On the Viz ones you can see how they, you know, don't have the, uh, <laughs> they, they have a different logo on the back which is really weird and, and different really everything on the back so that's Fine, I guess. I mean, it just is me who's gonna notice it. See how it says Shonen Sunday on there, and the this ones just had the big Japanese symbol for Kakaishi. Anyways, um, the omnibuses are pretty hard to find right now, uh, for some reason, or kind of expensive to buy. And the um, singles are a little cheaper, though. I think Volume One's out of print, according to right stuff, but I think you can still find it around for a decent price. So if you look hard enough, you should be able to find the series pretty much no problem. Except if you're like me, um, and Right Stuff sent you every volume except for one, which was enough to make a boy cry. Uh, so that was that was nice of them. I was really happy about that, to find out that news. Um, I received all of the volumes except for a volume, I believe it was 13. And the reason I didn't get it is because it's on back order, apparently. The, that's the only one. And they decided to ship my whole thing out. And of course you can see that this is a gory anime. This is like an intense battle anime. This is not just like, haha, we're at school and it's fun, fun, fun. No. They're rarely at school, from what I remember. Anyways, that's it for today. I definitely hope you guys check out Kakaishi if you've never heard of it. Um, if you guys check out any of the other series, let me know. Uh, but I hope everyone had a good time watching this. And have a good rest of your day. Bye.